Hey everybody, welcome back to Talk That Talk. So today we have a lot to go over on the channel, but we're going to break it up for you guys. But we are going to talk about Nicki Minaj. Of course, she dropped her new song, Do We Have a Problem Today? But we are going to rewind it back a little bit and get y'all caught up in case you haven't found this out yet. So Nicki Minaj decided to basically address the whole situation between her and the City Girls. Now, does this mean that Nicki Minaj is also going to publicly address anything with Cardi B coming along too? But right now, you know, Nicki Minaj decided to, you know, share why she did not want to work with the City Girls. But let's just kind of rewind this a little bit. So the City Girls came out. They were pretty popular. They kind of took off very fast. And then that whole Cardi B and Nicki Minaj beef situation started to happen. And the City Girls basically made it known that they were Team Cardi. So Carisha, not Carisha, I'm sorry, JT ended up doing a diss record dissing Nicki Minaj. When JT was in jail, Carisha went on The Breakfast Club and they asked her, would she be open to working with Nicki Minaj? And she said she just wanted to avoid that situation and that the City Girls are Team Cardi because Cardi supports them. Then they ended up backtracking everything and openly shared that they wanted to work with Nicki Minaj after all of this that was done and said. So we hadn't really heard from Nicki about this. I mean, you know, Nicki was getting married. She was pregnant that she had her baby. You know what I mean? Like she really wasn't given this any time of day publicly. So now we finally got some insight as to like how Nicki felt. And she decided to share that, you know, if you have people out here saying things about you in a negative way on social media, like that's there forever. And she's like, I'm an artist, but I'm a human first. So I have feelings. If I see somebody talking crap about me and I'm actually thinking about working with them, you know, it's not going to happen, you know? So it sounds like she didn't fully close the door, like with the city girls, but we all know that door is closed. Next question. <laughs> Either that post um, mean it's already done or like loaded. Well, well, um, I don't know. What I will say is that a, a few years ago, I saw a video of them and I asked someone on their team at that time, I asked someone about them. Like, oh my God, I heard that, da, 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 and I saw this video, and I, that's cute, Dad. Like, I was thinking about jumping on one, a record, the, one of their records that was out at that time. Um, and then, <sighs> social media happened. You know what I'm saying? Social media happened with when, you know, people will say things about someone, like an artist, whether they tweet it or say it or whether they get um, pulled, what, whether it, come, it gets pulled out of them in an interview or something like that. And the thing is, whenever you, t whenever you post something on the internet, it's there forever. Yeah. Whenever you say something in an interview, it's there forever. So as a human being, you, an artist is a human being first. So if I, as just a regular human was about to do something with you, if I was about to go out to dinner with you tonight, and then I get some something that says, yo, she don't really cover you like that. She was saying this and she don't really like you. And she and she said she hopes you actually, you know, never pop or never flourish and da da da. I'm not gonna go out to dinner with you anymore because now I know that I like you, but you you don't really like me. So mm -hmm. so you know, um, I'm just, you know, that's just, that's just a human way to feel. If you hear right. somebody, if you hear somebody was saying things about you, not just one thing, but repeated things, repeated tweets for, for years, not just one thing. So it's hard to let that go. 
it's it's let go. Yeah. It's let go. But it's about why would I work with somebody that doesn't like me? <laughs> right. So it's nice to see though that there is you know, a little bit of, I guess, forgiveness going on in this new year, you know, even though you not, she probably will never forget, but you know, it's forgiveness and it was publicly done like, and and it's nice to see. It's really, really nice to see And the city girls, like y'all really fumbled it because it would have been dope to have a city girls and Nicki Minaj collab. That would have been dope. And if they just would have kept their mouths shut, I think that they would have had that opportunity. Like if I was them watching that Nicki Minaj interview and seeing that she actually did want to work with me, but then I kind of messed it up because I spoke too soon. Like I took a side and I should have never took any side. Like, you know, I would be like shooting myself in the foot here. Like I'd be like, oh my God, like I literally just fumbled a, a whole bag plus a whole good partnership with a huge female rapper. Like you know, you, you really don't come back from that. Like, y'all really took the biggest L of this year. So, um, she ended up, Nicki Minaj ended up tweeting that she just had a great combo with JT and Young Miami. Let's move on and make new memories, y'all. And JT ended up replying to the tweet and saying, Sag sister, thank you for your time and your advice. A true queen, love you. So, you know, there is... There is, you know, some forgiveness going on and I love to see it. You know, I really don't think there's going to be any collabs coming out of this, um, but it's just nice to see. Comment down below what you guys think about this. Comment down below what you think of Nicki Minaj's new song. Definitely go support the song. Listen to the song. I think the video is great and I like the song a lot. I like the other song, the snippet of the second song that we got at the end of the video. I like that song too. So comment down below what you think and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.